Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So we have all our mechs back from the mech bay, and you notice the Zeus now has got uh, 10 days. So what I did, we're going to spend an episode rebuilding our lances. I've got a few ideas of what I'd like to do. We have an Arrow 4 system I'd like to put in. We've got a Warhammer and a Catapult we both need to fit uh, outfit out. So um, let's have a look, quick look at the mech bay. So for the Zeus, what I ended up doing was, since we lost this arm um, with our ATMs, what I did is I dropped a couple of LRM 20s in here and put case two in this torso, filled it full of LRM ammo with dead fire ammo. Um, and I pulled out the two heavy clan um, medium lasers that were here. For the heat that they were putting out and the amount that they were hitting, I just didn't feel they were worth it. Uh, so I put four medium lasers in instead uh, and that should, spread out at least we'll get more hits with those uh but with the dead the two lrm 20s with dead fire ammo which are, has got about i think 12 to 14 rounds of firing and then 15 rounds of firing with the ac20 i think we've got lots of close-up firepower um so that's basically this guy laid out i wanted to get him out of the way because he was just basically a repair not basically a, a, a total refit so i just wanted to get him out of the way so the first thing i want to do is i want to go in um, we're going to change our main lance to the Zeus, the Warhammer, the Catapult, and the Wolverine. And I'm thinking, originally I was thinking about dropping the Arrow 4 system in the Warhammer, in the shoulder. But I'm thinking now that the Catapult is the obvious way to go. Now it's only got uh, a total of um, 6 hard points and 2 of them are missile hard points. But I figured out a way I think we can lay this guy out. That he's going to be able to lay down some good long range firepower. And then the Warhammer, I want to do this this guy this, kind of the same way I have the Bushwhacker set up now as a long-range pinpoint fire support mech. So I want to do the same thing with this guy. So we're going to do a couple things first. We're going to do, go into the Bushwhacker. And I'm not going to pull this guy out of service, but what I am going to do is pull a few things out of here that I think I'm going to need. So I'm going to take these guys out. Uh, the Watchdog Suite and the Pirate TC we're going to take out of here. The, the Cooling Pod I want to pull out. We're going to leave the Goss Rifle for now. Um... And let's pull out the clan double heat sink and a regular double heat sink. I'm going to leave the double heat sink kit in here for now. Um, I've got a feeling we're going to be loading this guy up with lasers anyway. So we'll leave the double heat sink kit in here. And we'll confirm this. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go down to the hunchback. Since the bushwhacker is going to be moving down into the second lance, it's going to be basically the laser fire support mech. So the hunchback will no longer be that. So let's refit the hunchback. And I noticed here I left it a TT, TTS ballistic in the center torso. I didn't even realize that was there. So we're going to pull that out. And we're going to pull out these guys. We're going to pull the weapon mount out of this guy. And for now we'll pull the TTS energy out. We're going to pull the warfare suite out. Um, yep, and the exchanger for now. But we'll leave everything else in here for now. Um, once again, let's go to equipment. Actually, yeah, we, we'll just leave it like this. Let's just confirm this for now so it doesn't cost us any time. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do with the catapult here first. So let's refit this guy. So this is going to be our long range mech. This is the mech that Hickory is going to end up using. And we're going to max out the armor first. Uh, drop this down a little bit, I think. Somewhere in there, I think. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to actually weapon systems first. Our missile systems. And we're going to go right down and grab our arrow system. And we're going to drop that in here. And we're going to take a Thunderbolt system and drop it in here. So then we're going to go to Equipment. And we're going to gra grab... Um, where is it down here? We want to grab the 240 engine. Actually, was it the 240 or 275? I think it was the 275 I wanted to put in here. Something a little faster. So we're going to do that, then we're going to do go up here. As you can see, we're already having a problem with weight, but that's okay. We'll figure that out here in a second. Uh, we're going to go to um, Clan XL Engine, we're going to drop one of those guys in. And we're going to drop our Endo Steel in. And we're going to drop some Heavy Pharaoh, I think, for now. So we've got a bunch of weight back here. Um, let's just do this to the armor. I don't think we're going to be in trouble that way, but we'll do that just in case. So the Thunderbolt takes AC-10 ammo. So we're going to go grab... Um, first thing we're going to do is grab some case. Uh, where are you here? Well, we're going to need the Clan Artemis system here. 
so uh, let's drop that in. Let's put it in the head. Why not? Uh, we've also got, before I forget here, uh, upper missile system to give the arrow a bit more accuracy. And we have um, a regular clan cockpit, which grants breaching shot, which is going to be good for the arrow uh, at long distances. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to go down here. We're going to need a Guardian ECM. Let's put that here. And we could put the Warfare Suite in, but I'm thinking probably for this build, um, well, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking that's probably a better idea. Originally, I wasn't going to do it, but I'm thinking the reduced signature on enemy sensors is going to keep her at a distance where we don't have to worry about uh, um, the enemies seeing her. And the advanced sensor probe and stuff will detect enemies that are approaching from a distance. So I'm thinking this is probably a good way to go. We'll get the same evasion and we'll get bonus accuracy with weapons, which is always a, a, uh, a bonus, I guess. Um, so case, where's our case here? Um... It is, starts with a C, but apparently it's not where the C's are. It is down here somewhere. There we go, we got case two. So we're gonna take the case two and I'm gonna drop it in the arm here with two tons of ammo for the Thunderbolt. Now the arrow system doesn't need ammo, it's got 10 rounds. So we got 10 rounds of firing with this guy and then we've got a few rounds of firing with this guy and then we're out. So, you know, we gotta be careful what we're doing there. So let's go to equipment now. We've got the heats and cooling pod, which we could add. Um, I wanted to do, was it this one I wanted to do? Smaller exchanger? Yes, and then two double heat sinks. Now we do have clan double. We got regular double heat sinks, here we go. Oh, we don't have enough for two. What did I do space-wise differently? I think it was the Warfare Suite. I had a regular ECM in here. So just a regular heat sink will do. And I'm thinking that's pretty good overall. Yeah, we're pretty flush heat sinking wise. We've got one, two, three, you know, plus four to hit with the uh, this arrow system. Thunderbolt's got actually a bonus to hit by itself, plus one accuracy, so it's plus four to hit with this guy too. So, you know, it's pretty good overall. We're going to see how it runs. But I think uh, for distance, distance firing, uh, this is going to be a nice support mech for taking down um, heavier mechs. So let's confirm this. 21 days, it'll take a while. Right. I'll get it in and if that doesn't work out, we can figure a different long range build on it. So now the Warhammer, I got an idea with this guy too. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the engine because we don't need a double heat sink kit in here. And let's go back in and refit. So let's go get that engine, the 280. Uh, where are you? 280. Drop it back in. Thinking that's probably a good engine to be running with this guy. And I'm going to want this, so just so I don't forget it, I'm going to put it in there for now. Um, and the Watchdog Suite, just for now. Um, and... Where is the double heat sink kit? Oh, Pirate TC, we need that. Uh, double heat sink kit, double heat sink kit. Here you are. All right. So we got a double heat sink kit now in there. So the first thing I want to try and start off doing with this guy, after we bring in this exchanger, because we're going to need it, that's for sure. Um, we're going to go to weapons and a laser. So we're going to grab um, the couple of clan ER large lasers. Now these do 60 damage for 35 heat. It's pretty respectable. I would, you know, we could do the PPC, which does an extra... Um, five damage, but it's three tons more, so there's no real reason to take this weapon. Plus, it's got minus one accuracy, whereas these uh, lasers have plus one. So we're going to take these guys, put one on each arm. Kind of a standard uh, Warhammer build. You got to have a laser, big laser in each arm, I think. And then we're going to look at ballistic because I'm thinking um, I want to try something here. The LBX AC2 clan are only four tons. And it gives plus 50% plus chance with critical hits, plus one uh, accuracy and one evasion ignored with this weapon. Recoil of one, 
um, but it's got a really long range to it. So I think I want to drop one of these in each torso. And we'll need a ton of AC2 ammo as well. That'll give us 12 turns of firing. Let's max the armor before I forget. Um, there we go. And then, as you can see, we're already pretty hot here. Um, and what else did I want to do here? Right, we need a missile system. Um, we still haven't added what we want to do here. So we want to add Clan Endo, I believe, with this guy. And we wanted to add the Clan Pharaoh. Uh, we may end up going Heavy Pharaoh, but we'll find that out in a minute. We want to have the XL engine in there. Um, now we've got these two cooling pods I'm probably going to end up using. And we've got still four laser points, which we can add stuff to. So we've got a bunch of weight now again. So let's go to the weapons, uh, missile systems. So at long range, I do have this nice LRM-15, which gives us um, ignoring evasion pips, plus one accuracy, uh, plus 50% chance to do critical hits. And it does five damage per missile, so that's a possibility. We've also got an ATM-6 here, which is a nice small support weapon, 6 times 12. So that's not too bad either. That's like 72 damage. Um, this one's doing 75 damage uh, for more weight um, and more heat. So I'm thinking maybe this ATM-6 might be a way to go. Um, the other thing is we've got a Thermobolt 15 too. That's a lot of weight, but it's nice to have that um, so that we're reducing the specific enemy's heat sinking. Um, so that's a possibility. Um, but I think I want to choose the ATM-6 for this guy. Um, simply because it's uh, got uh, bonus accuracy and evasion pips ignored, uh, plus, you know, half decent damage and range. Um, so we're going to put this in here. And I believe it's LRM ammo we need for this, correct? Um, yes. Uh, Integral fire control system uses LRM ammo bins. Cannot use special M or TT. You think with an with a uh, huh? You think with a Ar Artemis system, you'd be able to use Artemis ammo. Like you, anyway. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, so we could put a half load of LRM ammo in. Uh, it's only 60 rounds. It's just 10 turns of firing. I don't think we need much more than that. Um, it is just a, the, just a secondary weapon. Uh, another plink plinker weapon. So now we've got... we still got support points on here if we want to add stuff. Uh, and we still have laser points if we want to add stuff. So I'm thinking, if we go to lasers here, we could just put in regular me, uh, medium lasers. That's the good uh, management for heat. Um, heat and weight and I'm thinking that's probably a way to go let's just do this real quick just to see what we got here so that's dropped all that now let's go up over here we want to go to the cooling pods we want to grab these guys let's put one on the CT let's put one over here how are we doing here not so good um, clan double heat sinks we have Still got lots of weight left. So maybe we don't go with the double heat sinks. Let's just go with the regular heat sinks for now. Uh, because I think what we'll do. Three, four, five. Actually, let's split the ammo up between the legs. And we lost the AC2 ammo, didn't we? Let's split it up between the legs just in case. I know we don't have case on this guy, but that's all right. Um, and then we want to do more heat sinks. So we've still got a couple tons left. I think we've got a, yeah, we've got one of these guys' patchwork materials we can drop in. And how are we looking here? Yeah, still got a long way to go. So let's pull out two regular heat sinks, move the patchwork material over, move this heat sink into the arm, and then put in two clan double heat sinks. That's actually pretty good overall, since we're not going to be firing all the weapons all the time. I'm kind of happy with this loadout, I think. We've got really nice accuracy with this. 
Um, all the weapons have kind of got bonus accuracy to them with the exception of the medium lasers, but they're going to be affected by the TTS energy um, and the Watchdog Suite. So we'll get some bonus to hit there. Uh, lasers themselves have a plus one accuracy, plus one more for the arm. So this is going to be a really accurate long range boat, especially with the Pirate TC in the top here with the plus three accuracy for range weapons. Um, I know the recoil is plus one, but and plus 10 weapons uh, heat generated, but still overall, I think we're we're pretty good here. So I'm kind of happy with this. I'm interested to see how the loadout's gonna work. So let's confirm this. 27 days, it's gonna be a while, but I'm okay with that. I'll let you know when that's done. All right, so now let's have a look at the Bushwhacker down at the Lance 2. We want a fire support mech here. So this one's gonna be a little trickier to outfit, I think. So um, what we do have is we have those double PPCs here. I'm gonna drop those in first. Uh, we're way over in heat or in weight and we're not so bad in heat. We're about the same as we were before um, So let's have a look here if there's anything we can do we could add heavy Pharaoh to Take the weight down if we want to keep the Gauss rifle. This is 12 tons, right? It is but there's also something else we can do here Because I was thinking about this earlier and how we're gonna make this guy very similar Well, the Gauss rifle does 75 damage, but if we look under ballistics here We do have an ultra 5 clan which is only seven tons Right, so we're going to drop that in here and we're going to need two tons of ammo. So let's grab our AC5 ammo. We can't use the precision ammo, unfortunately, but we're going to just split it between the legs. Definitely going to need to get some more case. Um, so this is already pretty much where it was before, with the exception of targeting systems. So let's go to equipment. Now, I don't know if we've got, I mean, we could go with the heavy pharaoh as well. It's going to add it, give us a bit more. So, cockpit, we're going to need probably this one with the breaching shot on it. And because this guy's going to be standing back. Um, weapon mount, I meant to drop this into, uh, into the Warhammer. Well, let's just leave it for now. We'll figure it out. I'll add it a, li a little bit later. Uh, we're going to need the ECM in this guy. But we're going to throw a Guardian in. Let's just put that in the head. Um, definitely need the ECMs and since it's a long-range version we can just take the back armor down down slightly actually we'll just do this just so the CT is a little bit better off we're gonna take the targeting plus one energy and drop that in here as well and we could take the ballistic and put it in uh, but I think I'm gonna save that for the hunchback um, so we'll do that we do have regular case here um, but it's gonna do a lot of damage still even with this, it'll take a whole side off. So I'm thinking that we're just going to leave that out for now. Uh, what else do we have? I think that's it. Now we've got two tons left over. We're definitely going to need to get some heat sinking in here. So let's grab, what are we at here? Uh, not too bad. Let's just grab a double heat sink, drop it in this side, and then a regular heat sink. Just throw it over here. Requires, oh well, right, we don't have the slots, do we? Uh, what did I give for a clan heat sink right about now? Um, I guess we just use regular heat sinks. Sure. I mean, it's not the most efficient in the world, but I'm still, I think, for firepower, this guy's going to be pretty good. We'll just rotate one of the PPCs, or we'll rotate the Ultra 5 on and off. Um, yeah, I think that's probably probably what we'll end up doing. All right. So that's going to be this guy. That's the seven day fix. It's nice when you're not laying a mech out from, uh, from scratch. It takes so much less time. Okay, so our hunchback. So this is going to be the close range version of the hunchback. I still left a lot of stuff in here. We have the stealth armor. I'm going to pull the stealth and put the NSS in. And we're going to change the fusion core out. I think we're going to make it a little bigger. Um, let's go to equipment here. That was a 200, maybe a 240 if we have one. We do have a 240. Okay. And we can pull out a bunch of these heat sinks right now. Not going to need all of these. So I'm thinking, if we go to weapons, uh, ballistic, we could probably go with a clan Gauss rifle, but this guy wants to be a close-in mech. I don't think we want to make him a guy that's far away. Um... And we could go with, 
Well, we've got a rack five here too. We need to carry lots of ammo with that thing. That's the problem, right? And it's heavy to begin with. It's like 12 tons or 14 tons. It's even worse. So maybe we go either the AC-20 or an AC-10. Something with a bit of punch, I think. Double stability damage. Yeah, maybe the AC-10. It's nice, ha nice to have that extra stability damage to knock people over with. I mean, if we want to go... Actually, this guy's not bad either. We got a pair of these guys at 8 tons. We use one AC5, 50 damage, and then trick it out with lasers and stuff. Because we've got three ballistic slots. But we've only got three laser slots too, right? So I have to think about how we want to do this. So this is going to be a close-in mech. Maybe we do go at, we go after the stability damage from the AC-10. And then we can do uh, AC-10 ammo. Now, do we have 25% extra ammo? 18 rounds for 2 tons. Do we really need the extra rounds? Probably not. But let's check the store. I don't think we're going to find any precision ammo in the store. Let's go down and see uh, weapons, ballistic. No, no precision ammo. Not much we can really do about that. Okay. So we want two tons of AC-10 ammo. We'll put one on each leg. Spread it around a little bit and let's go to equipment. We could use the LB-22, but it, the scatter gun is not really something that I'm enjoying. Um, now that we're in the later stages, kind of later stages of the game. So let's put a weapon mount on here. Uh, let's save the weapon mount actually. Let's put a regular hand in. Um, we need the ballistic targeting system. And we need an ECM. So we've got another guardian here we can use. Guardians are slightly better, th better than a regular ECM. Give you a plus one defense against being hit, which is nice. So we'll take that. Um, and we've still got a fair bit of space and a fair bit of hard points. So maybe we go with... Mm, it's a tough choice. We could go... How much heat sinking do we have on this guy? Pretty good. We could put a clan heavy medium in the arm. Right? And then we can put in that um, weapon mount. We said we weren't going to do it, but that's a half a ton. So that's okay. Heat sinking now. We've gone down. Yeah, slightly lower. Not much lower. Uh, if we add a double heat sink, that'll fix the heat problem. Right? And then... Wow, this guy's so underwhelming. Um... See, that's why the heavy medium lasers, they're okay, but if you've got a ton of heat sinking, they're great. If you don't, then, you know, they're just not worth it. Um, just thinking maybe we just go... Maybe put an ER medium on that one. And then we don't we can't put a regular medium in the head because of the ballistic TTS. We have to pull that out. Let's put it in with this guy. Put a regular medium laser in the head. And then the double heat sink, I think. And that's probably where this guy will end off. Yeah, how are we doing here? Not bad. Not bad. Three mediums. So we've gone from two PPCs at 65 damage each to three mediums to just over 75 and AC, which is 60 damage. So... It's still comparable, um, maybe not quite as accurate, obviously, but it's still comparable. Uh, let's see how this is going to run. Let's confirm this. All right, now Phoenix Hawk um, is still, I think, okay. We were using him as the melee mech, but we're not going to do that anymore because we do have the Shadow Hawk. This guy just has the regular stealth armor, spike wrecking ball, plasma rifle. 
Right, so this guy is going to be the melee mech for this lance now. So the Phoenix Hawk, we can strip out the melee stuff off this guy. Maybe go back to our old lo loadout, um, in which we had a large laser. So let's pull this out, put this accuracy laser over here. Spike Fist is going to come out. Spike Leg Boots is going to come out. The Supercharger, I don't think we really need any more. Let's leave it for now just to see what our weight is like. Yeah, we've got to take it out. How much does it weigh? One ton. What do we do differently? Where's the lasers here? Um, where's our large laser? So we had that guy in there. And then we had... We could put the XL. That's going to give us lots of weight. The defense gyro, I think, was the thing that we put in. But I still think we want this guy to be maneuverable. So maybe we leave that in. We need a, another hand on this side. Uh, what are we left with here? we got a lot of weight left. Angel ECM weighs how much? Two tons. We could save the patchwork material. Leave that one in. And we don't have any more TTSs left, do we? We do not. Um, and then I think the rest is just heat sinks. So we're definitely going to need them. Yeah. This guy was a heat problem before. He's a heat problem again. I think we had, I think we had a uh, double heat sink kit in this guy at one time. And one more. So it's still not... We're still going to be rotating lasers, but that's okay, I think. Uh, this helmet can come out. Two injury resist. Breaching shot and sensor range. Let's go with that one. We're still a we're ton over now. How is that possible? Because this is only two tons, that's why. Right. Have to pull a heat sink then. What's this giving us here? Defense against being hit. Reduce signature. I mean, we're already getting that off this, right? Yeah. So maybe we take the angel out. Just go with the regular ECM for now. And then we can put a, another heat sink in. Yeah, not totally amazing. Let's put the ECM in the CT. Um, we're going to need a TTS in this thing too. Yeah, got a feeling it's going to go back to his old self of missing everything. But we'll take it as this for now. We do have the stealth armor we can add to somebody else. So let's confirm this. Now, our fire starter. Let's refit this guy. Maybe we can take that pharaoh off and put stealth armor on this guy. Point 0.9. So let's take this off for a second. Just interested to see. If we put the stealth armor on here, uh, patchwork materials can go in. We swap out one of the medium lasers. Let's say this guy. And we put in because we wanted to add the other clan flamer, right? Yeah, look at that, that's pretty good. And then we can just do this and max it out. I want more in the back, I think, than the front. So yeah, I think we'll do it that way. Lower melee. That's where this went to. Let's take the melee thing off of this guy. Um, and let's go back with, is it, can we put a hand on this side? No, we just need a lower arm. There we go. So we have a half a ton left over. I uh, wish we had more flamers. We got a pirate flamer. One ton, ten heat. What can we do for half a ton, guys? Small laser plus. 
Uh, maybe how much heat did this generate? Six. We've lost four heat. We're flush here. Because we could take the medium out. Put in. This is about the same range. Bonus accuracy for half a ton, same damage. ER small. Uh, small pulse maybe? Do we have anything in here we could add? Fluid gun? These are two tons. We'd have to find a we'd have to find a half a tons from somewhere. Cause this has got um, generates fifteen heat for two turns. Eight rounds. I mean that's a possibility too if we do that. Like this is adding overheat damage. Maybe we take the overheat damage off. Because we don't want to kill people with this guy. We just want to keep them from doing anything. This will definitely do that. Minimizing the damage. It's not going to do three times damage. When they're overheating. I think probably this is the way to go. I think this is the way to go. Our heat efficiency is going to be great now. Um, we could probably even pull out heat sinks, for crying out loud. Uh, we're short on one clan double heat sink for this guy, but I don't really care. Um, I want to keep the sensor distance on this guy, so we're going to leave that on. Uh, yeah, I think we, I think we've got it here. We got like extra weight now so we can pull the patchwork materials off got two tons left maybe we put on the um, where are you here the paint gun on the other side to, for obscuring vision that's looking pretty darn good I think it's pretty darn nice so let's confirm this Um, do we have to put an extra heat sink in? I guess we do. Um, just a regular heat sink? Ugh, how do we deal with this now? What do we do here? Superchargers one ton. 15% heat generated from weapons fire. Really? Guardian ECM we already have. The Angel is what? Two tons. That's a little better. So let's pull out the Guardian. Let's put in the Angel. Right? Reduce visibility from the enemy. That means we have half a ton left. Uh, so let's put in... Where is it here? Got patchwork, which we can drop in. Maybe on that side, and with one ton remaining, we don't need heat sinks. We can put a, just like a medium laser or something in. Just leave that medium laser in that torso, just so it's got something for firepower. Just in case it needs to, to pinpoint shoot somebody. I'm thinking that's, well, yeah, thinking that's the way we'll go. There's a small pulse too, right? Plus two accuracy. Ignore two evasion pips. But then when we're going to be using this, we're probably going to be using it against um, targets that have already been shut down. So we'll just leave it like this, I think. Let's just confirm that. 
All right, so I think that's all we're going to do for these mechs. So it's going to be a little bit of time before they come back. Let's actually just do that right today so we have everything back. Let's manage our tests to see if we can get things to come back in a good orderly fashion. Um, so 21, 10, this will be 17, then 24. Right, then this will end and become 26. This will end and become 28. If I go this way, it's still going to be 28. All right, well, we'll it's going to be 28 days before everything's back, which is actually pretty good considering all the work that we did. So by the end of the month, we should be back up and running here. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. All right. Now we sold a couple of Clan XL engines. Kind of glad we didn't need them, which is the only reason why we have so much cash right now. I think too it's good that we we did that because um, now we have some money we can work on getting our uh, beta pod up and running, which means we can start getting another lance of pilots. Uh, hold extra practice, please. Morale increased by one. Hey, high spirits, nice. For 60 days too. That's awesome. Okay, here it comes. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. There it is, folks. 28 days later, and we're ready to go. Let's have a look at our, our mech bays here. So we still have some stealth armor left over. Why is the Zeus giving me an exclamation mark? What are we missing here? Cannot use LRM Deadfire Ammo and Artemis 4 system together. Well, that's not good. Um, that just means we get more space to put other stuff in. Huh. We got ridiculously good heat efficiency. So... Um, what can we do for one and a half tons, guys? Let's have a look. What do we got left over? Lower melee. Yeah, we got upper ballistic and a weapon mount. We don't want any more things like that on here. Supercharger. I wonder if that's a possibility. 40% walking distance would kind of be nice. What's that doing for heat, though? Uh, why do we not get the supercharger? Because it's got to be in the CT, that's why, probably. Yes. Alright, so we're going to lose heat here. Um, 15% heat generated from weapons fire. We've got no way to mitigate that. But we're not going to be firing all medium lasers all the time. That's the other thing too, right? Uh, mm, now what do we do for half a ton? Well, we could swap out the medium laser for a small and then put another heat sink in maybe. Just like a regular small laser. Just for now until we get some other stuff that we can do with this guy. Let's go to equipment. Just add one more just general heat sink. How are we doing here? Yeah, plus 15% to the alpha strike though. So another 12. So about 87, 88. So a little over but not much. Okay, let's go this route. That 40% walk distance I think is going to really help us out. So let's confirm this. All right. So that's what, two days and we're back? Two days and we're back. Job's done, okay, guys. So we are going to end the episode here. I will check the pilots between episodes to see if there's anything else we can do with them. But when we come back next time, we will take a clan mission with our main lance. 
to see how it's working out. We've got that uh, Warhammer and Catapult now, along with the Wolverine and the Zeus. We'll try those guys out and see how it works. And hopefully we get some good salvage off the stuff that we kill. But uh, yeah, until next time, if you liked the video, drop a like. If you've got any suggestions for mech changes, please drop them in the comments below. And until next time, we'll see you later.